LaMelo Ball is clearly one of the most exciting point guards in the league right now. 6'7", elite passer, elite handle, and it's nice to see him on the court again this year. And not only is he living up to the hype, but this season we get to see him hoop in his third signature sneaker. The first one I enjoyed. Them Rick and Mortys were crazy. The second one, uh, pretty mid, I'm not gonna lie. And now the third one, as you can see here, is probably my favorite out of the three. Now the traction I felt was solid. I didn't find myself slipping too much when playing, I'm gonna be honest. And I almost thought I would because it's kind of like, man, the traction is almost too good to be true. How is it that nice? And look, this dope. A regular rubber compound is used here, but again, it's kind of made, the theme is made to fit LaMelo's personality while still giving you what you need on the court. It's pretty consistent to last year's model with the rare logo placement on the bottom for that additional touch, that additional spice. I like this, man. I like this. I think it's different. And again, it didn't really hinder the traction at all. Now, I would recommend staying inside with these. I'm not sure if you want to take these outside. The bottom may wear down a little faster than you expect. But again, even when you're inside, as I always say, just be sure to wipe as necessary. Do your job on the court. Be a basketball player and you should be good. Now the cushioning is pretty much identical to what's been used in the past for LaMelo as well. Nitro infused foam in the forefoot and then nitro infused foam in the heel as well pretty much make up this cushioning setup. This is a proven LaMelo Puma quality and I think they gotta stick with it because it feels pretty solid when you hooping on court. It's responsive, it provides a decent balance of court feel and impact protection and hey, to me, you can't ask for much more than that. Now let's talk about the materials. Now this to me is where Puma decided to turn it up a little bit. I said, Puma, you got my attention. Now the material choice we've seen before, but because of how unique they made the sneaker look with the design, I, I, hey, I almost thought they came with something new. I, I said, what? The engineer woven mesh is much better here rather than on the MB-02 and about on par with the MB-01. Man, the MB-02 felt a little stiff to me, I'm not gonna lie. These don't feel like that. Now the one I felt like I could get down in, I'm not gonna lie. I spent a little time breaking them in and after breaking them in, they were pretty straight. Same thing on the MB-03. You may have to spend a little time breaking them in, but once you do, the material choice should be good for you on court. The upper itself is still pretty flexible overall, but y'all know I gotta keep it a bean. It's not like engineer mesh that I'm used to. When I think of engineer mesh, y'all know where I go back to. I go back to that Kobe 8, the first one, not the retro joint, these pro tro, that first Kobe 8 out the gate with the real engineered mesh. That's what I'm thinking about. But that wasn't the goal here, man. I'm gonna be honest, I can tell that wasn't the goal just based on how dope the design is like how unique they tried to make this colorway i'm sure they had to put some type of backing to even be able to print on this to give you that type of look so i understand for sure you get the cool design and still being able to be a little flexible uh breathable a little ventilation right here with the little claw look to it hey puma took their time I really mess with this. Now the fit and lockdown are also two solid areas as well. I would go with the same size that you purchased in the one and two. To me, they run true to size. So if you wear that 10, hell yeah. You know what to do, jerk. Just get that 10, jerk. The heel counter is also there and will help with overall security. And I like the pattern in the back. It's a nice, simple touch as well to diversify the sneaker a little bit. Overall, the LaMelo line is one of the most consistent lines I think you can get and will be dropping so far. So if you like consistency, I think you have to consider Puma's LaMelo line. Like the PG, like the Kyrie, it's kind of one of those signature lines that you kind of grow to know what to expect. From the one to the three, it's pretty consistent overall. Now I'm gonna be honest, out of the three, I think I like the, the three the most from a design standpoint, from a feel standpoint. I feel like it just kind of it just kind of overshadows the one and two in my opinion. Now the one is nice, don't get me wrong. I think I saw him drop them them all gold joints and I was like, ooh, is he golden freezer? Hold on, hold on. Is he? I thought he pulled up in the golden freezers. I said, oh, LaMelo really not from here. He really from where Freezer from. But again, man, the design here on the MB03 to me. It's just nasty, man. Just, just like the whole theme, like the way they put everything together from how these look on court, on foot, is nasty. How detailed the sneaker with the little claw used for some ventilation, nasty. The wear at the bottom, nasty. 
tying that into the box. You got the little claw on the box, like nasty. Like if you're looking for like a really good detailed sneaker, a signature sneaker where you feel like you're gonna get your money's worth, I think you gotta go with something like this. Even like the plastic on the side that's used to kind of help you, you know what I'm saying, stabilize on court as well. Like I didn't even get into that. But you know, finding a cool way to just make the most out of some of the same features and some of the same qualities that we get on everyday sneakers, I think you, you, you can't go wrong here. Like, it's nasty. Now I will say, y'all know I gotta keep it a bean and I gotta make it, I gotta make it applicable to who I am. Sometimes when I'm hooping and in the Lamellos, man, I just feel like they're a little too big for me and my style of play. Y'all know how I like the hoop. I'm a Ja Morant, a Ja 1, Bron 20 for sure. Kobe 5, if we talking Puma, I thought the Dreamer was straight. I'm, you know, I got the Dreamer too. I ain't talk, I ain't talk about it much, but I'm a, I'm a dreamer. I'm a low top, low to the ground type of player. However, this is a versatile sneaker, so any and all players can hoop in it. You can't get down in these, for real. But that's it for me, man. Before I get out of here, I do want to tell you guys about something that I'm super excited about. I finally started my own personal membership. Hey, hey, clap it up for Jay the Jerk Jones, man. We finally started that. The membership price is $4.99. Uh, with that, you'll get custom emojis, custom Neverfold badges, a Neverfold product code where you can get a discount on the merch, new and upcoming merch. There's going to be stuff that I'm bringing back. You will get a discount to that and you'll get exclusive content. So all the food videos. I'm going to keep it a bean. I was, <laughs> I was in New York with my boy Chris. Uh, Rod Greg and I hopped on the track one time though one time though. You know what I'm saying? I know you guys always like JJ come with some bars jerk. I went ahead and came I went ahead and came with some bars that full video will be posted for members as well If you mess with exclusive content, you want to get them emojis so people can be like ooh, how he get that? You know what I'm saying the never fold badges We set all that up and I think it comes with some nice perks for $4.99 I tried to make it as affordable as possible and it helps man it helps the channel, it helps me, it helps with some of the resources and things that I'm trying to get to upgrade around here. It helps some things that I kind of want to do on the walk-on side. If you're not subscribed over there, go over there. That's the pod that I have with my brother Clay. Be sure to show your boy some love. And the, and the content about to be crazy over there. I got probably like five videos already just kind of lined up that I'm about to drop over there. So, and I think you'll love it. If you do happen to become a member, thank you, thank you so much. That content should start rolling in. First member bid is dropping this week and you'll get your perks immediately. So. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me at I am J Jones. Why? Because I can't get brand deals without you. There, I said it. I've been traveling with the NBA quite a bit. And uh, even then, I'll be wanting to drop those vlogs so you can see me talk to the players. I was able to get face to face with Steph. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't see that on Instagram, that was a really dope moment for me. De'Aaron, I was real close to a lot of the NBA guys. So I've been doing a lot of traveling with the NBA. And there will be vlogs for that content as well. So, again, but for the members. So let me know if you become a member. And uh, just know I appreciate you even if you don't. And until next time, it's Jay. I'm out, jerk. Peace. Oh, you got a father. I don't give a dang. Mother. Yeah. On the night I was born, the rain was pouring. God was crying. Lightning struck. Power out. His sparks was flying. Product thing in the environment, huh? Relax. God, damn. I'm going now, you can't transform. I'm stuck in my prime, I'm just like ratchet. Pistol on the side of my whip. This ain't an action. Clips loaded, put it in motion. Cause an accident.